So today we got the vintage felt tip pin made by Crink. The felt tip pin is an aluminum body valve action marker. And just at first glance, it looks like KR made a slightly larger version of the vintage Flowmaster pin. I'm not sure if that's what he's going for, but that's just what it reminds me of right away. The Crink website claims that the felt tip pin comes with a 10 millimeter round nib and a 10 millimeter chisel. But at the checkout, I see that it only comes with the round nib that's already in the marker. And after an intense search, I see an option to order replacement round and chisel nibs. So I ordered one of each just for this review. But when the order showed up, it only had two extra round nibs, no chisel nib. And it's a seven millimeter for sure. Definitely not a 10 millimeter nib. And it's okay if the round nibs was all they had, I still would have ordered two extra round nibs, but at least let a motherfucker know with like an email or something, man. But I think we all know that KR don't got the integrity like that. Anyways, here's the info on the marker body itself. This is a full aluminum body marker. The pump system is aluminum with some small threadings. So when replacing the nib, you'll have to press down, then screw it in a little bit more. Right there, you can see that it's unscrewing the nib already. And here you can see that the threadings are making grooves and grabbing the nib. Like I said, you're gonna have to press the nib all the way down and then continue to screw the nib the rest of the way in. So we got a Molotov covers all bottle, but that's not what's in here. There's none of the covers all in this mixture. This is just a mixture of three different inks that I put in this bottle. Because the Crink website suggests using a thin dye base ink, that's what we're going to use. What do you want with me? Jake's. I have something you might want. For example, a gun. It fires accurate and fatal bullets without gun flash or sound. It seemed to be writing nice on the cardboard that can soak up the ink, but not so much on the smooth stickers. I didn't really like how the ink wasn't flowing consistent through this felt nib. So I'm going to use a mixture of the OTR Hard to Buff and the Art Primo Marsh Black. Just because I already know that this mixture can flow through just about any nib. The felt tip did not hold ink too well. You're only going to get about one good tag before having to bleed it. And sometimes the bleeding floods the nib immediately.
Jakes. B, 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 B. Although it is flowing better with the second mixture that I used, the crink felt tip nib just still feels like it's not going to cut it when it comes to some grimy surfaces on the streets. You're definitely going to want to change out the original nib with one that can perform a lot better out in the field. Here's an 8mm Uni PX30 nib that I sloppily shaved down just for you guys to see how it works better with a proper nib. Afterwards, I'll show you how I mod the nib. Modifying, hold the nib to the surface like I'm doing now. Do not lift it like I do later. <laughs> Cutting the nib while holding it is dangerous. I'm only doing it this way so you can see. Please be careful. Do you believe in Jesus? Well, you're going to meet him. <laughs> you could just stop here. It will bleed fine, but I'm going to cut it a little bit more just because I want to juice the nib faster. This will cause the nib to fray out sooner and get busted up a lot quicker but I'm okay with wasting a nib just to make sure that I show you guys how good it works. And bam, just like that, an 8mm chisel nib running in a 7mm barrel. Well, you're going to meet him. <laughs> 
and now it's running Pilot Ink Super Black.
at first messing with the felt nib that it comes with, I wasn't so sure about this crank marker. But after replacing and modding the uni nib, I can now say that she belongs to the streets. But make sure you leave a comment. Let me know what you think about it. Yo, thanks for watching. We'll see y'all next time. Peace.